boost in maritime security. Another entity enters the BPO sector and close to a billion dollars allocated for a national mitigation program. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Anthony Morgan. Stay with us. The government of Jamaica stands in support of business process outsourcing. And we will make the necessary investments to ensure that there is the flow of human resources to support the continued development and expansion of that industry. Prime Minister Andrew Holness's assurance to the latest player in the BPO sector, KPMG Jamaica Extended Support Services, KGES. The knowledge process outsourcing entity which employs 100 Jamaicans will provide market development, finance, accounting and human resource services to its customers based in the United States. On Tuesday, the Prime Minister said the Heart Trust NTA and the Housing Opportunity Production and Employment Hope Program has been training young Jamaicans to take up jobs in the sector. According to Mr. Holness, the BPO sector has the potential to increase its employment tenfold from the current standing of 30,000 Jamaicans. It can create career opportunities, jobs with a long life cycle, where you can start at one level and spend your lifetime in it, ending at a significantly higher level, where a career path is established. In Parliament Tuesday, the Prime Minister announced the rollout of a $997 million national mitigation program ahead of the Christmas season. The works are to be carried out by the National Works Agency, NWA, and the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA. Each constituency will get $12 million for debushing, drain cleaning, road patching, and general cleanup, while $100 million will cover the removal of bulky waste. So the MP will, will make recommendations to the NWA as to the roads that should be bushed, the roads that can be patched, and the areas that will be cleaned or bulky waste removed or the drains that will be clean. Ultimately, Mr. Speaker, it is the NWA that will go and measure the work. The members of parliament are to submit detailed work programs to the Integrity Commission to verify works. The national mitigation program will run between November 19 and December 7. Prime Minister Andrew Holness used the Tuesday's parliamentary sitting to confirm he played no part in the appointment of the Integrity Commission's new acting executive director, Colonel Daniel Price. He told the House he was neither consulted nor advised of Colonel Price's appointment. It stands to reason that in accordance with its establishment as a commission, it would have used its own judgment in conducting its affairs, including in appointing an interim executive director. It would not be appropriate for any second guessing or criticism of the exercise of their authority as an independent commission. On Wednesday, the island received a boost in its maritime security with the commissioning into service of a maritime patrol aircraft and two of nine helicopters. They are to be housed in a new hangar at the Jamaica Defence Force Air Wing Manly Base. What we are doing here today is ensuring that we make an investment in securing our borders, increasing our domain awareness, not just because it sounds great, but because it will have a practical effect for the man on the street in Jamaica. You will see crime going down in your communities as a result of this investment. But more than that, it also signals Jamaica's intention to do more with our blue economy. I'm using this platform to say to the leaders of the public sector, lean forward in the Amanda system. Let's start embracing it and letting it work. Otherwise, I will really have to sit down now and figure out how do I um, enforce this? Um, and it can be done. Prime Minister Holness's impassioned plea to public sector leaders at Thursday's National Competitiveness Council meeting. The Application Management and Data Automation Amanda System is a web-based application aimed at providing greater transparency in the approval process at the local government level.
Mr. Holness's call follows Jamaica's dip from its 70 to 75 placement out of 190 countries in the 2019 Doing Business report. The island is, however, the top performing country in the Caribbean and a top six in the Latin America and Caribbean region. Jamaica's best performing indicator came in dealing with construction permits, which moved up 22 points due to the passage of the National Building Act in March 2018. Jamaica also earned the 12th spot in getting credit. National Competitiveness Council Chairman Daryl Vaz said focus will now be placed on improving its getting electricity indicator, which slipped by 24 points from 91 to 115. Registering property, trading across borders and protecting minority investors' indices are also up for improvements. Minister Vaz also shared plans for the island to reach the top 10 of the Doing Business Report by 2020. We need to start holding the implementing ministries and agencies more accountable for the implementation of these reforms. The Secretariat has met with the Minister of Finance, who has given his full support to the reform agenda and is working very closely with us in collaboration with the Planning Institute to identify the funding that the agencies will need to get this work done. Thursday also saw the Prime Minister intervening in a dispute involving Flow Jamaica, the National Works Agency and China Harbour Engineering Company check over the state's legacy road projects. The intervention resulted in an adjournment of Flow's court action on claims of disruption of its services to customers caused by ongoing roadworks across Kingston and St. Andrew. Coming out of Thursday's meeting, Prime Minister Honus instructed Czech to send Flo a schedule indicating a notice period for excavation activities before any such work is done. The parties also agreed to have regular meetings to ensure the major infrastructure development projects continue in a seamless fashion. At his office Thursday, the Prime Minister held another regular meeting of the National Partnership Council. He was joined by members of his cabinet, including Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark, National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang and Agenda Minister Olivia Grange. Thursday also saw Prime Minister Holness holding talks with the new principal of the University of the West Indies Mona campus, Professor Dale Weber. Professor Weber took up his new post on October 1, replacing Professor Archibald MacDonald. And that's how we close out Jamaica House Weekly. Be sure to join us next time for more news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.